Good morning, our lovely dear students. How are you today? I hope you are doing very fine. I miss you so much. Today we are going to take a new lesson. We are going to know what the lens means. The lens means is how long of any object. If I want to know the length of any object, I need to measure the long of it. Okay? I have here an example to compare between two crayons. So if I want to compare between any two objects, I have to make the same starting point. The same starting point. Here, the two crayons have the same starting line. Okay? And after we compare between them, we found that they have also the same ending point. They have also the same ending point. So, if, I, if those cranes have the same ending point, so they have the same lens. Okay, let's have another different example. Another two crayons have the same starting line or starting point. So, we know now to compare between each two objects, I have to start with the same point. Okay, uh-oh, but there they have a different ending point. The purple one is the longer and the red one is shorter. So, both of those crayons have different lengths have different lengths okay okay when we solve an example we, what we have to do we have to read the question first so we are going to read the question circle the object that is longer so here I have two rulers obviously this one is the longer one so I will circle it okay in this example, I have a lot of animals and I need to arrange from the tallest to the shortest. Obviously, the tallest one is the giraffe, right? So, I will write here first. Which one is the second one? Who can tell me? Yes, the elephant. The elephant is the second one. Then, the bear line and finally the turtle is the shortest one okay yes i need to solve this example with you complete i have three children and he wants me to compare between each one lens i have mary Atif, judy in the first question he asked me Judy is shorter than who? Who? Who of them? Which one of them is short? Judy is shorter than him? Yes, Atif. If Judy is shorter than Atif, type Judy is taller than. She's taller than. Yes, Mary. Super. Top. The tallest one. Which one of them is the tallest one? Yes, out of the tallest one. Shorter one is. Shortest one is. Mary. Okay. Now he wants me to arrange them from the shortest to the tallest. From the shortest to the tallest. Let's do it. If the shortest one is. Mary. Then. Judy. Then. Out of. Right, super students. Now we are going to solve uh, the rest of the questions by yourselves and tell me if you want any question to solve it with you, okay? Okay, now we are going to measure the objects, okay? Let's measure the object which is with each other. Okay, here I have two non-standard units. I chose for me, I chose this popsicle sticks and this paper clips. And I'm going to measure with it. Okay, those are non standard units. And we are going to measure the, len the length of any object by those two non standard units. Okay, let's start and know how we are going to measure it. 
Okay. Now we will measure the pencil. This pencil, we are going to measure it. I chose this paper clips to measure this pencil. Okay. This is my non-standard unit. And I'm going to measure it. Okay. One, two, three, four. So this pencil length is four units of paper clips. Four units of paper clips. So when I measured this pencil with the paper clips, I found that the its units are four. Okay. Now I need you to make an activity at your home. Measure any object at your home with non-standard unit of your choice. You can choose paper clips, you can choose a popsicle sticks, you can choose a pencil, anything you want. And tell me the, the results in the next session, okay? See you. Bye-bye.